Why do some people say that their swimming pool is like maintenance free? I hardly do anything. There's a little bit of chlorine in there like once every two weeks. That's it. It's always fine. We never have a problem. How is it that they're able to do that? Because, you know, maybe you're doing some research or just with your pool chemistry in general, you find like I have to do all kinds of stuff. I'm correcting the pH. I'm adding chlorine. I had to do breakpoint chlorination the other day. And I asked my neighbor, and he's never heard of breakpoint chlorination. You know, he said he never does anything like that. How does that work? And so when I have something like this, to answer it, I find it's helpful if we compare this to another technical subject that's actually pretty similar to pools, but it might not seem like it to you on the surface, and that's cars. Okay, so a swimming pool is a car, just for this example. So I have a neighbor, Bob, who tells me that he bought a new Honda like seven years ago and he basically never does anything to it. Never changed the oil, it's never checked the brakes, never changed the tires, rotated, never done a thing to it. It's basically a maintenance free car. So I think hopefully you should see the point that I'm making here. The person tells you that it's a maintenance free pool and they hardly do anything, but in reality what really they're doing is they're kind of just like <laughs> they're, they're not taking care of the pool properly. And over time, that will be something that becomes evident with, you know, the longevity of the interior surface of the pool or the longevity of the pool pump, the pool filter, the pool heater, all the individual components, you know, might end up with leaks, all kinds of different stuff from just like the negligence of water chemistry. Because the number one thing that causes damage in swimming pools uh, well, maybe I should say, but the, the number one thing that causes early damage in swimming pools is poor water chemistry. Poor water chemistry over a long period of time is a, a very hard environment for anything to be in. And the water can still look good. You can swim in it and you don't turn green. But it doesn't mean that that water is balanced, and it doesn't mean that it's good for your pump, filter, heater, pipes, interior surface, none of that stuff. So, you know, ignorance is not bliss with swimming pools. You can get into some real swimming pool nightmares by ignoring your regular maintenance and your regular chemical care for your water. So, I don't recommend it, and I don't recommend listening to those people who say that their pool is basically maintenance free. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.